John, you're in charge of the cards. It is a leisurely stroll through the Walker Stones years at Manchester City. First impressions? Being honest, probably didn't hear too much of you at Barnsley. But obviously when he got to Everton, seeing this big dangly thing. <laughs> 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 but he, he, he could play football and he could ball from the back. And he, for, obviously for an English centre-half, it wasn't really known upon to do that. My first kind of involvement um, was at England. I think I got called up from like the 21s to join in with the senior squad. And Walks is just spraying diags everywhere in training, honestly. Spraying them, I'm thinking, oh my, I need to step up here and train. I'm nervous already. <laughs> Best goal? I'd say the Vincent Company goal will stick a long time in my memory, just because the magnitude of the game. That one and uh, probably Gundo's last season as well. In the change room after, I can remember walking in and was like, I've never seen a game of football like that in my life. In my life, <laughs> it was incredible. I never felt so um, drained after w trying to get through the crowd and get into the changing room. Yeah, it was incredible. Mm. Best game played in the Euro final. That was one of the best. Like, really, occasion. even though it went the way it did? Yeah, occasion-wise, because it's never been done before. And mm. I, like, we can be proud and it came down to something that's so cruel. For me, it was a very important game was um, against Arsenal when we won the first Carabao Cup, because that was my first trophy. A big change in my where I thought, you know what, I can actually do that now. I can actually go to games and win, you know, finals where I've been there and just kind of participating in them, because the teams that I played with or played for, we never really knew how to have that winning mentality. Off the pitch. We didn't really speak to each other at England. No. Like, we know, obviously, we know Dell. Delhi Alley and yeah. Delhi kind of was the middleman. Matchmaker. So he was probably <laughs> the matchmaker. But then when I came here, me and John, we just clicked and it just felt so right. As I say, I don't look at him as a football friend. You know, well, what I, is it then? What, what makes you, what, what's the shared interest? I, I probably think it's probably daft. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always messing about at something. England. You played 43 times together for England. I don't know if you knew that, but has it been everything you dreamed it would be playing for England? And doing it together? Uh, probably more. Yeah. No, I was just going to say that. Yeah. More. Yeah. Over the last couple of years, definitely. When I first joined, I would have never thought that I'd be sat here, experience what I've experienced with an England team. Um, I, think, I think with yeah. the people as well. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. I think just the class. The yeah. class. You know, some people don't play as much as others, and, and the mentality of those players is second to none in yeah. the environment that we've got or we had you know all, all through the, the tournaments that, that I've played in some of the best memories for me in, in, in my career yeah, lovely overall I've just realised what the next card is <laughs> Dave how is he? I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Tony who was the head of security there he was leaving that was his last tournament me and John's parents have decided that Tony would be a great you know adopted dad for Dave yeah. uh, and would be able to give him a little bit more time than what we could have yeah, in no, our definitely. busy schedule. Hopefully Tony looks after Dave and he can have a nice life. But he, we so. said he's got to bring him up here and see us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Right, <laughs> quick fire, we've got three oh, here. Come on man. Harland or Aguero. Aguero. Okay, next one. De Bruyne or Silva. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't. I only say Aguero so confidently because Haaland's done six months. I think these stats are phenomenal. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. But what Aguero's done for the club and I think for the Premier League, I'd have to say nice. Aguero. That one I can't pick. Can't, can't pick. No, can't no. Pick. Okay. Easy. Walker or Stones? Walker. <laughs> I was going to say, say it. <laughs> I was going to say it. No, Stones. Go on. Biggest regret? Oh my god! No. We've not, Do you yeah, want me to get a list out? Yeah, oh, really? yeah. I've got loads. Yeah. yeah. I know some people will say, "Oh, I've got no regrets." You know, I gave everything. But mm. yeah, I'm definitely a person that you know can't let something rest. I think just, a, a regret. Do you know what's just springing to mind? Something you said about him. You said he can be anything he wants to be if he gets his head right. Mm. Is that right? Mm. How, how is his head now? 
When was best, it? Like years ago? Yeah. Best, best I've seen. Best I've seen him. Recently, he's been incredible. As we said before, I go for his energy and I'll know when he's, you know, something's on his mind or something's not right. But I think just how he adapts himself and how he's, you know, he does the extra, he goes the extra yard now. For yeah, me, he's the best centre half. I've enjoyed this. Yeah. The best yeah, centre half yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen. Level. I've seen in a long time. He's a good When player. here. Yeah. Are you a regret man or are you good at moving on? I've got regrets, of course I have. Yeah. I've got things that in, you know, in life on the on the pitch that I think oh, I could have done that a little mm. bit better or you know, even you look down to the the Euros and I think to myself, oh, should I have took a penalty in one of the more experienced players? You know, but I was I was the one to say, you know, I probably wouldn't want to take a penalty just because I'd be scared of letting people down if I did miss. But then when you look back at it and you think, well, was it fair on the younger lads to have that responsibility? Ambitions. Champions, Champions League. League. Yeah. I think and to win five Premier Leagues, I think here you look at then you're going in the realms of like John Terry and stuff like that. Yeah. When you've won five Premier Leagues, then you can say I think you've you've really, you know, left your mark on the Premier League. Yeah.